video, we'll be checking out one of the top selling, if not the top selling, mobile phone gimbals on Amazon.com, which is the Hohum iSteady X. Check it out, guys. So this gimbal itself, the iSteady X, was released about six months ago. This is what they have as a new package, the mobile phone gimbal, and as well, it comes with a wireless Bluetooth lavalier. So pretty cool. This will be really good for people doing YouTube videos like this. Like right now, I'm using a Rode Wireless Go Mic Mobile wireless lavalier on my Nikon Z6 Mark II to really help me amplify my voice and keep out all that surrounding noise. So similar to this, this would be great for YouTube videos and also people who like to do vlogging. That's why they call it the vlogger kit. So basically, let's talk about this iSteady X. So first of all, the iSteady X has three axis stabilization. So that's really, really good. Three axis, it weighs in at only 259 grams but it can take payloads of up to 280 grams. So that's pretty insane. It can actually take payloads heavier than this iSteady X itself. This also has a 2000 milliamp battery, which can go up to eight hours. Also is like the other gimbals in the market. It is ultra light, ultra compact, and it's foldable to fit in your pocket easily. And this gimbal itself right now in the market, if you look on amazon.com, I'll leave the link in the description, only costs about 70 US dollars. So that's pretty cool. But today, this video will be specifically testing out this vlogger kit because we wanna actually test out how good the wireless lavalia is when connecting to your mobile phone. So today's video, we'll be testing out on the latest phone in the market right now which is the iphone 12 pro max so let's firstly check out what's inside the box and then we'll move on to testing out the audio clarity on this ho-hum wireless lavalier so let's go all right so let's check out what's in the box for the iSteady x vlogger kit First of all, you have the pair of monitoring headphones. These are headphones used to plug directly into the Bluetooth wireless lavalia using the USB Type-C cable. And you can see on the Bluetooth wireless lavalia itself right here, the Ho-Hum Bluetooth wireless lavalia, very nice and light. You can see the microphone over here. And then if you flip it around, optional of course, you can plug in the headset and monitor your audio. And over here you have a dead cat to block off wind and that fits very, very nicely. And one thing cool is that you can use the Filmic Pro app to connect this Hohum smart mic. So you don't necessarily have to use this Bluetooth lavalia on the Hohum Pro application on your mobile phone itself. So next up we have the tripod and a USB Type-C charging cable and also the wrist strap for connecting it to this uh, gimbal over here. You can see that I got the white one, nice build quality, doesn't feel too cheap, nice hard plastic, very smooth, nice finish. So that's pretty cool. So after this, remember to download the Hohem Pro app and you need to activate the gimbal itself by registering account and activating the gimbal on the very first start. So once you download and open up the application, they will actually give you a really nice short tutorial and ask you to activate your Bluetooth for the gimbal to connect to your mobile phone. So that's pretty neat, nice short tutorial on how to use the gimbal itself. Right now we're going to start off with the first test with the microphone gains at number 41 and the noise cancellation level at high. We are going into a really windy and noisy area with a lot of cars. Alright guys, so I'm right now vlogging on this Hohum iSteady X with the iPhone 12 Pro Max and I'm using the wireless lavalier you can see attached with my headphones just to monitor the audio. So how does this sound? It's really really windy really really nice windy area you can see and behind me is the uh like a bridge and one thing about this headset is that the wires are really really short so you can't really turn your head without the wires trying to pop out of your ears but more importantly how's the audio is like i said it's really windy we're doing some vlogging i'm using the front facing camera on my iphone 12 pro max that's why the Field of view is not really, really wide, but so far I really, really like this 
you know, a mobile phone gimbal i've used quite a few and so far this has been one of the best uh most intuitive and the build quality for its price everything is pretty good so far i've been using for, for uh three to four days some issues i may have encountered not some maybe just a couple not too many let me show you the view this is where we're going to do the hyperlapse ah check it out guys so we're going to attempt to do a hyperlapse in this area so this video we're just checking out how good the uh, noise cancellation is you can adjust the settings or you can go into automatic mode for this uh, wireless lavalier all right so for test number two we're going to switch the audio settings to automatic and see if it sounds any better all right guys so especially switch it up it's really noisy uh just switch it up to automatic mode and how does the audio quality sound just testing it out i'm going to move further back about five meters away it's really hot it's really noisy and it's really windy how does the automatic mode on this bluetooth wireless lavalier handle all this noise and still try to pick up my voice as much as possible so we're just gonna test it out a little bit more automatic mode just now we're shooting at a 40 gain uh, gain of 41 so right now this automatic mode and how does this sound is it any better yep so we got some people crossing so i can't stand in the middle all right so last test of all this is a nice long stretch to do the stabilization test while i walk back to my car Testing on the stabilization. How does it look? Let's do a little bit of running. Just to test out the stabilization. And one thing good about this gimbal is you can flip it upside down. If you get low shots, like you're shooting the floor and near to the floor. Or shooting your children and stuff so it's really neat so i'll switch to the ultra wide angle lens and then we're going to flip the whole gimbal over pretty easy to switch. then we're going to walk close to the floor just to test it out very very nice close shots to the floor Hope you're not getting a headache from this. Wow, the axes are really, really strong. You just flip the the whole phone and the gimbal back to its original upright position, and it manages to hold really, really well. All right, guys. So that was it. Just a preliminary test and first look at the Home iSteady X vlogger kit which launched a couple of days ago so far i've been pretty impressed i've never used one of holland's gimbals before i normally use dji or Chilean gimbals but so far it's been looking very very good the stabilization on this gimbal is pretty good and the motors are really strong and the whole Home pro app is pretty intuitive and easy to use as well but more importantly what this video was about is testing out this bluetooth wireless lavalier that i'm using right now and how is the audio quality i'm actually filming on filmic pro right now just to let you know just to test out the audio quality how good and crisp the audio is with the noise cancellation uh, there are a lot of features available on this hohum iCity x gimbal which i haven't gone through yet but if you want to check out the full features and capability of this Hohum iSteady X gimbal, you can click the top right hand corner, watch one of the other YouTubers doing a full review of every single function and capability on this Hohum iSteady X gimbal. Basically, in conclusion, overall, the audio quality, I'm very, very impressed for a price of 130 bucks, guys. The gimbal plus this wireless lavalier, and you know, wireless lavaliers. If you check out in the market right now, they normally cost about 200 bucks and above. Uh, this is a Bluetooth wireless lavalier, not the normal wireless lavalier with a transmitter and a receiver. So really good for mobile phones. Like I said, you can actually connect this to any mobile phone which has the Bluetooth function. And if you want to use the Home Pro app, you can use it without the gimbal itself. 
Uh, you can use it on a Filmic Pro as well, so that's pretty awesome. And the noise cancellation, if you were to check out, and the noise cancellation is actually pretty good, uh, especially when I was shooting in manual mode. I had the gains up to about 40, 41, and really kept out all the wind and the background noise of the cars that were moving behind me and stuff. So it's really, really good noise cancellation. Here's a look at the sound audio quality on my Final Cut Pro. You can see how well in this image right over here, you can see how well the noise cancellation is and my voice was still pretty much projected very, very clearly. It didn't sound like I was underwater. That's how it usually sounds when you actually do some noise cancellation, but it didn't sound like I was underwater on this Bluetooth wireless available. So for 60 bucks, guys, I mean, the gimbal cost 70, full package 130. So I'm guessing this Bluetooth wireless available for 60 bucks, really, really well worth the money, guys. So, uh, but in automatic mode, when we actually switch it up to automatic mode, uh, audio settings, you could hear that the audio was a little bit wavy the voice was going in and out so maybe automatic mode not to be used in really noisy situations if you're like an environment like right now i'm sitting in 2 a.m in the morning totally quiet then probably you can use the automatic mode uh, it won't matter too much but if you're in a really noisy area uh, do the manual settings i think it will work pretty well like for my case i had the noise cancellation up on high plus the gains was about 41 and worked out pretty well without making my voice sound really muffled or underwater. So basically it's worth the money for this gimbal and wireless Lavalia setup to me really well worth the money. So next video, we're gonna do a hyperlapse and I'm gonna show you how to do a hyperlapse. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna do it on the Home Pro app and the iPhone 12 Pro Max on this iCity X gimbal. So stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notifications button so you don't miss any of the videos on this whole um, iCity X. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.